we're here with Peggy Moore from the Sister Stepin' In Pride Foundation, organization, I'm sorry. What inspired you to begin this organization? Um, you know, I did a lot of work in the East Bay area, particularly in Oakland, so I was fully engaged with um, uh, just the diversity of our community in terms of our elders, in terms of our young people, and also just the different groups that makes us up. And uh, from that, I was inspired by the individuals and people that I met. And so it was made sense to me that in 2000, when we decided that Oakland was the largest lesbian population, that we should be able to have our own festival. Right. And so it's just like being in Oakland, knowing the community in Oakland, I can't think of a, uh, a better community to be proud of. And so yes. we deserve the opportunity to have a march. And it was something that was, you know, you know God-driven, I guess, you know, yeah. because it's really from the heart. When it started, did it all fall into place? Or was it really kind of like you had to recruit people or everyone was like, I want to do it, and, and it worked out? Or how, how, how well, did you know, it come about? Think about it. So it was June of 2010 mm -hmm. when we had the San Francisco Pride, and we produced this in August. So we only had a couple of months to be able to do the first march. And so the first year, we actually literally just marched. So once we made the decision, early July, that we were going to do the festival, do you agree, do you agree? Yes, we all agreed. And then at that point, I knew that we needed to lead the march with a drum corps, so I contacted a woman by the name of Athena Walking Tree, and she was able to coordinate the drum and lead the drummers in our march. Uh, I called a woman named Emily Nevels, who knows how to handle, you know, permits and all that kind of right, stuff. Right. So we can handle all that. A professional team. Right. Basically. So it was just really three of us actually started it in terms of doing those kind of yes. logistics. And then we just encouraged everyone to help get the word out. So it just became a word of mouth. Dyke March in Oakland. Dyke right. March in Oakland. And then, you know, uh, later August. I think it was actually Labor Day weekend of 2007 uh, that we kicked off. And, and had a successful march. I mean, for the first year, we probably only had it between three to four hundred people that showed up for less than two months. Right. Uh, That's really good. It really was good. Yeah. yeah. How did the name Sister Stepin come about? Wow, well, that, that's always what, a, what was yeah. your initial it was that your from the start did you want to call it that or did you have another well, name for it? I, you know, it came to us, uh, you know, it was one of those tricky things, you know. Um, in your life, you have relationships and you have these different ways in which you bond and that consciousness of sisterhood. You know? right. I remember being at my first lesbian wedding when I walked in the room as a young girl from Oklahoma and I walked into this room and I was in a room of 100 plus lesbians of color. And that was the first time for me having that kind of experience because I could see myself there. Right. And um, in, in, in that experience, I, I had a sense of sisterhood that was real to me. And, Powerful. Yeah, and so that essence of sisterhood is how we think about the name of Sister Stepping in Pride. And we define it as, you know, people who understand the importance of coming together from a place of sister love. And yes. that's in sisterhood. So that's how we, we got sisters. So some people call it sister, some people call it something else. <laughs> but whatever that energy is mm -hmm. that creates that sense of sisterhood, that's what it really is about. That's good. Yeah. Um, so I know this is your 10th year mark, um, how are you going to keep this legacy alive? What, what do you plan to do? Well, you know, we, we're going to go out with a, with a bang, you know, we're going to have Good, a really yeah. strong year this year <laughs> and we're very excited about that. And um, we have many fantasies of things that we want to do, but what we want to do is just kind of just stop for a minute, um, take a break, and, mm -hmm. and then we'll be back. Uh, it, it, we're not sure if it's going to be, it might be films, it might be premier events, but there, our signature as Sister Stephanie and Pride, we would definitely keep engaged. We will sponsor different okay. events that are happening throughout the community and we're available to engage um, in terms of sharing our knowledge around doing the festival. But we'll stay engaged, absolutely. That's good. So are you planning to do a documentary? Is that in the works? No, we have, we're fortunate in the sense that over the past two years we have footage of almost every year or, or moments or different things like that. And so I'm excited about pulling all of that together at some point and seeing where that come over. Yeah. I think that would be a great way for us to come back uh, into the community. I agree. Not Thank that we're ever leaving. Right, right. Thank you so much. This is Peggy Moore. Thank you.